Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to Nadia's Kitchen in USA. Today I decided to show you guys our part two of our chicken puff pastries. So just stay tuned till the end to see how we bake um, these chicken puff pastries along with a opening and unboxing of our new toaster. So just stay tuned till the end. <coughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Nadia's Kitchen in USA. This is part two of our chicken puff pastries. So I decided to open up our toaster, our air fryer toaster oven, um, the one that we'll, we will be baking our puff pastries in. So stay tuned and I will show you guys what it looks like inside. So as you guys can see, this is brand new. I am literally opening it right now. I got it in the mail. So this was the reason why we were doing a part two because I was very excited to show you guys my new toaster oven that my mom ordered. So I was a little delayed in shipping, that's why we had to make a part two. So I'm opening it up. Let's open up the other side. So ta-da! So let's remove out of the box. Let us remove the sides. So we got it in the color silver. Now I'm not sure if there was other other colors. My mom here who's recording, was there other colors mom? No. Yeah so this was the only color and as you guys can see it's stainless steel. It's a toaster, it's an oven, it's an air fryer, so you can do all three. These are the settings. You guys can see um, air fryer, it's a rotisserie chicken. You can also bake your rotisserie chicken, the start and stop button. So let me close it and let me show you guys. So this is the box that I was talking to you about. As you guys can see, um, it, it literally makes a whole rotisserie chicken. It can make bread, it can make anything, it can make pizza. They also have six functions, an air fryer, rotisserie, toast, pizza, bacon, broil. And I will be showing you guys all of the materials over here. Let me unbox them for you. So you guys can see, this is the grilling tray. This is the grill. This is some instructions. And this is the tray, so the grill, the tray. Let me put this aside. And there's also another tray that goes inside the oven. Bottom. So this is gonna go at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then, so you guys can see um, in this oven comes with the air fryer basket. So as you guys can see in this oven comes with the air fryer basket. So you can also air fry your nuggets, chicken nuggets, chicken wings, anything. You can even air fry your fries, homemade fries, if you don't like oily stuff. And then this is for your rotisserie chicken. So you can just put your whole chicken in there and it'll literally bake it for you. And this is what you can take your chicken out with. So let me assemble all of this and show you how it looks at the end. So as you guys can see, this is the bottom of the tray. So I'm going to be pushing it inside. So this goes at the, le uh, at the very bottom. Then there is this rack. So it's up to you, wherever you want to put it, you can put it. So I'm going to be putting it in the middle. So this is the rack. You guys can see I'm going to be pushing it inside. So these are the two things that I have put in there. This is optional. So now I here I have the deep air frying tray. You guys can see um, these are not necessary at all. You can customize them. So if you're just air frying, you can just put this at the top like this. And then I also have the tray that would go beneath it. So for example, if I remove this one and I just kept these two, that's how it would be. So it's up. It's literally your preference. If you're air frying, you would need this. But if you're not air frying and you're just baking, broiling, whatever it is, you can put the you can just put the grill and the tray right on top. So for the sake of this video, I decided to pull in all of the um, tools that it came with. So this is the rotisserie chicken um, where you can put your chicken in and it'll grill it. This is the deep air frying tray. This is the other tray for baking. And then this is the grill. 
So when I will be showing you guys how I bake my uh, puff pastries, I will not be using the deep uh, air frying tray or the rotisserie chicken stick. And I'm just gonna be using the grill and the pan and I will show you guys how we bake our tray. So now that you guys have seen our air fryer slash our oven, I will be showing you guys how to bake our puff pastry chicken that you guys have all been waiting for. So as you guys can see, we have plugged it in. This is the start and stop button. This is the rotisserie button, but we don't have any rotisserie chicken, so we don't need it. So you can change the Fahrenheit degrees over here. It's kind of loud, honestly. And then there's the air fryer. So if you're gonna be doing, uh, if you're gonna be air frying any of your items, you could just press that. But at the moment, we're not. So let's get rid of that. And then over here is the times. So. You guys can see, I will be changed. So it's at 32 minutes. I can go all the way down to oops, one minute. So at the starting time, so it's up to you. And then at the bottom is where you can change the Fahrenheit. So you guys can see it's 180, 200. So now I will be showing you guys how we would bake our um, chicken puff pastries. So as you guys can see, these are the puff, uh, the chicken puff pastries that we made um, last night in our part one. So we left these to defrost overnight. So these are all frozen. You guys can see that. So now I will be showing you guys how we bake our puff pastries. So now we're lightly oiling our foil so our puff pastries don't stick to the foil. Just a very light hand, nothing too much. And then we will be, we will be putting our um, chicken puff pastries. So right here, we're just lightly oiling our puff pastries. So right here we have our puff pastries that we have lightly oiled and we will be putting them in our oven. So to the oven they go. And now we will be turning it on. So this section, it tells you. So the bread, pizza, um, I believe that's cupcakes. Yeah. It's right there. So that's the, bro the bo uh, bake slash broil section. So we're, we will be putting it up. We're gonna be putting it at 10 minutes, but we will be giving it intervals. So at five minutes, we will be checking if it's burning or anything like that. So we will start it. And as you guys can see, it started. So I will show you guys at five minutes what our chicken puff pastry looks. So it has been a little more than six minutes. And as you guys can see, they are in progress, they are not burning. So I believe we might have to keep them in for longer than 10 minutes, but we will see after the 10 minutes and I will let you guys know. So let's continue baking them. So we have decided to put them in Ziploc bags. We have sealed them. So these, um, you guys can put them in the freezer up to two months and they will not go bad. So usually we keep them in the freezer um, in our family, it lasts about, I would say, a month. But you can keep them up to two or two and a half months in the freezer and they will not go bad. So I just packed these in Ziploc bags and I'm just going to be transferring them into the freezer. So we decided to um, give it a little bit more time. So um, currently it's been 15 minutes. We put it at another 10 minutes. You guys can see they're puffing up. Woo! So they're getting uh, golden brown, but I believe they're still uncooked. So we're gonna let them sit for about five more minutes and then we will see um, how they look. As you guys can see, it's been about 20 minutes. So our puff chicken puff pastries are ready. They are golden brown. Now I'm going to take them out and I'm gonna uh, serve it with their presentation and I will show you guys the end result. So as you guys can see, it's been about 20 minutes. Um, our puff pastries are ready. 
and I'm gonna be taking them out and I'm gonna be serving them with our final presentation and I will show you guys the end result. So as you guys can see, our chicken puff pastries are ready. We just put some cilantro just for some garnish and our signature and you guys can see they look so nice, golden brown. They're so crispy and they're all puffed up. So let me show you guys. Let me break into one and show you guys the chicken, um, our filling. So now I'm going to be showing you guys our chicken puff pastry. You guys can see our chicken filling inside. Let me open up the square one for you guys. You guys can hear the crunch. That's the chicken inside. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more delicious recipes. I know this was um, a different video from our old one since we did do a part one and part two. But like I said, you know, we were just waiting to show our toaster as well. So if you guys did like this video, please do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And do leave in the comment below if you did like this video. And if you guys have any recommendations or anything that we would um, like to make for you, leave them in the comment section below. So that's it for today. I will see you guys in my next video. Allah